Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dismakers. Every March, the RIAA comes out with its official music business report for the previous year. This year's report, covering the US music market for 2023, contains a couple of tasty morsels of data that I thought I'd share with you. Tasty morsel number one is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. Against all odds, that 70-year-old technology that we know and love called the vinyl record continues to surge up 10% year over year to $1.35 billion in revenue. Vinyl units were up a bit less, 7%. And it's not just vinyl that's up. CD revenues were also up for the year, up 11% to $537 million in sales. Interestingly, even though CD sales revenue was up double digits, units dropped ever so slightly by 1.9%, meaning the average price per CD sold was up 12% for the year. What does this mean? It means A, that people continue to want more physical units, proven by the fact that combined vinyl and CD units were up 3% and dollars were up 11%, and B, they're willing to pay more per unit. The average selling price for a record went up from $30.12 to $31.25, a 4% increase, while the CD selling price went up a whopping 13% from $12.80 to $14.52 per disc. Which, by the way, supports my point that in 2024, there is no need to sell your CD for $10. You can sell all day long for $12, even, as I recommend, for $15 without fans batting an eyelid. Also, for all the hype vinyl gets, it's interesting to note that 37 million CDs were sold last year versus 43 million records. So 46% of all physical units sold were for the humble optical disc. I gotta say, it warms my heart to see the continuing love that fans show for physical media. The graphics, the desire to own something by an artist they love rather than renting it from Spotify, fans continue to vote with their wallets. This is good news for artists trying to monetize their music and push their career forward. Here's tasty morsel number two. While CDs and vinyl both saw double digit revenue growth last year, streaming revenues were up just 9%. Sure, streaming makes up close to 80% of the U.S. music industry today, while physical revenues account for just 15%. But it seems like U.S. streaming growth is getting harder to come by. What's going on? Billboard writer Glenn Peoples wrote an interesting analysis about this. Turns out, as more people are already paying for streaming, less new people join every day, every year. Makes sense, right? That slows streaming revenue growth. The U.S. market added just 5.2 million new streaming subscribers for the year versus 8.5 million two years prior in 2021. Of course, the giants of the music industry, both major labels and streaming platforms, want faster growth, not slower. That's why after more than a decade of flat subscription pricing in the U.S., the streaming platforms last year finally raised prices by a dollar. While a dollar isn't much, this increase is actually good news. In fact, for you to get paid more for streaming, the Spotify's and Apple's of the world will need to keep raising prices on a regular basis. Why? Because the streaming platforms pay a fixed percent of their revenue, close to 70% to the rights holders, like you. If they raise prices faster than their streaming volume, you get paid more per stream. So there you have it. The U.S. music industry continues its overall growth, physical keeps growing, streaming growth is slowing, and subscription prices are starting to slowly go up. Of course, we also still have Spotify, pushed by the majors planning to demonetize your songs if they don't have a thousand streams in a year. Also part of the label's plans for them to make more from streaming. So what does this all mean for you? Frankly, Nothing. As an emerging independent artist, you've got to ride the waves of the music industry. You've got to be where the fans are. You've got to make the most of the dominant technology formats, the platforms, the tools, and the trends to build your fan base. Regardless of what happens in the music industry, you've got to keep hustling and doing what you got to do to move your music forward. 
Keep working on your songwriting so your songs get better. Keep working on your stage performance so you can leave fans in awe and blow them away at your concerts. Keep putting your music on streaming sites and YouTube, even though they don't pay, so fans can find and discover you. And keep making CDs, vinyl, and especially selling concert tickets the best way to not just make some money from your music, but build your popularity and your fan base. That's it. Keep on grinding, my friend. See you next time.